Hello. 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 Okay. Welcome back to Mama Jay's Country Gardening. And uh, today is another beautiful day, I gotta say. Well, Mama Jay, don't you say that all the time? Yes. Because every day that he gives me and gives you is a beautiful day. Even if there's hail balls falling down out the sky, if it's rainy, if it snows in July. Yeah, it's possible for you to get that. Anything's possible because we're not in charge of anything, any portion of our day. So I just want to say I'm glad to see you and I'm glad that you are tuned in so you can see what's going on in my neck of the woods so um just as a reminder uh if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button it's sitting over there in the right hand corner right underneath where the video shows in the right hand corner and then when you click that subscribe button there's a little bell that comes up if you'll just hit that little bell and that says i don't want to miss any of Mama J's videos, and I don't want you to miss them either. But what I do want for you to do me a favor, if you're liking my content, to hit that like button. It's like right on the left hand side. I try not to mix them up. You know, subscribe buttons over here, the like buttons over there. Just hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. It's an encouragement to me, but I also like to read your comments. So please leave a comment for me. Tell me what you're doing in your garden, uh, how you, uh, today we're going to talk about um, starting seeds for uh, peppers, okay? So we're going to do stuff with seeds with for peppers. Um, I'm in zone 6B slash 7A. Um, and, um, the weather today is supposed to be going up to a high of 58. Like, whoa, I'll take it. i take it. i take it. i take it. Yesterday we had 81. I was like, that's yes, outside. But I'm doing this start up inside the house. It's a little chill outside. And, um, I did a lot in the garden yesterday. Today, I'm going to start up my pepper seeds, and um, I want to show you some books that I have that most recently were acquired for me from the local library, and um, just hang out with you for a little bit, okay? So... Um, I gotta, I'm gonna start with my books. How about that? I'm gonna start with my books. You know, I love research. You know, I love reading as much as I can. I was just most recently, uh, had a full evaluation for cataracts. I know I had them. I know my sight is very poor and I'm okay with what's going to come next. So what I'm understanding is that, uh, in a few more weeks, about a month, in a month, I'm going to have uh, surgery in my left eye first and remove the cataracts and have another lens put in I think it's what they described I don't know I just know I'm supposed to see better and um, it's going to be interesting not wearing glasses when I've worn glasses since I was five years old so uh, but I'll still use reading glasses what I understand and in a couple weeks following that I'll have cataract cataract removed from the right eye same process so I'm okay I'm okay thank God I'm okay okay so uh, I have some books here you might see them backwards only because I don't know how to make them show on the camera um, as well as reflect myself so but the books I have are Food in Jars, 
preserving in small batches year round. Well, you know the other word for that is called canning. And this book was written by Marissa McClellan. And it says here, eating seasonally, I'm reading the back of the book. Eating seasonally has never been so tasty. Popular food blogger Marissa McClellan takes you through all manner of food in jars, storing away the taste of all seasons for later. Basics like jams and jellies are accompanied by pickles, chutneys, uh, conserves, whole fruits, tomato sauces, salsas, marmalades, nut, but nut butters, seasonings, and more. And it goes on. So I'm going to check this book out because I'm going to do a lot with my peppers. And it's going to include canning, and I've done it before. This is just me getting other people's ideas, and I like playing with food, which I encourage you to play with your food. Um, I like playing with food, create new, right? Um, bringing flavors together and new flavors together. So, so and some of these, um, some of my canning will include peppers as well as sauces. Um, and, um, pickling and do all that. Okay. So the second book that I have to show and share with you is called the complete book of year round, small batch preserving. I hope you're seeing that. Okay. And this book was written by, yep, I had to confirm it, Ellie Top and Margaret Howard. So this says here, a description says, the small batch preserving takes the workout of home preserving. You can make the most of fresh fruits and vegetables as they become available throughout the year when quality is the finest and price is the lowest. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I hope you'll be encouraged to seek out resources in your local library. Um, do the research. See what more you can do uh, to expand on your gardening experience and to feed your family and share with your friends and loved ones. So that's what I have for you today. You know, Mama J loves research. I really do. In my career, I'm retired now. I, I used to research. My uh, my background is, is in research. Strong. Okay? So I just put that on the side. So why are we here, Mama J, to talk about books? Well, we're going to talk about peppers. Okay? So I'm going to bring in my tray. And um, I have newspaper that, that I'm going to, these are my gloves. I'm gonna lay down at the very bottom, underneath my tray, under my tray, excuse me. So, here's my tray. Okay, I'm gonna place the soil into this tray, which is potting soil and startup soil. I'll make up my mind which of the two I'm going to use. I might just use them both. Depends on where I'm at at the time I get started. You know, you got to know there's more ways to skin a chicken. And I say that only because there's more ways to do anything that you wish to do. You have options, okay? So, uh, I'm starting my seeds up in this tray. I'm going to place all the soil in. And I have soil here, potting, potting soils, premium brand. It's called ProMix, and I've introduced that to you before. Uh, I like it. It's very fluffy. It has all the nutrients in it. And, and to start up seeds as well as to pot up seeds. I also have Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. I've introduced that to you before as well. And it's fluffy. Uh, and very, very light. It's a light, little lighter than 
permits. Um, but there are times when I will place the soil in the base of the tray and um, layer it with the seed starting mix. Sometimes um, I, I just cover the seeds with the seed starting mix. Sometimes I fill the entire tray with seed starting mix and then just plant my seeds in it. So I have two trays here because I'm I don't know how many I'm going to need today. Because I have, I'll put this down on the floor. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine different varieties of hot seeds. You know, I love hot sauce. I love spiced up food. I love creating hot sauce. I like doing a lot with with heat. And these seeds bring heat. So I have a lot of these peppers. Um, I'm going to start up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually counting my seed cups that I have here, you know. So all right, and then I have five. Five uh, mild peppers, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them mild. Okay. And here's one more. I didn't make it to the cup yet. All right. And I have my trusted gift marker, garden marker, that was gifted to me by Miss Miss Benet. It's Renee from Renee's Garden. I'm swearing by this marker. Okay. And I have labels that I'm going to make. Don't want to get them mixed up. I also recycle stuff. So I'm, if I have some that have some writing on one side and blank on the other or scribble out, I do that. Because you know, everything costs, right? Okay, and then I have this little tray under here. It's a top from a from a, a container that we're not using it anymore. So I, I have it underneath my tray. So all I'm about to do now is gonna spread this newspaper down here. And the reason I'm spreading the newspaper is because I'm gonna water my soil. I'm gonna wet it. Um. After I put it in the tray, and I don't want it leaking through to the point where it go on my table. Okay. And it really won't so much at all. It has never happened. Only because I've had it well underneath the tray. But also the, the soil soaks up the water for the amount that I'm going to put in. Some of my soil is already wet because the container was sitting outside last night and um, it rained. That's my little water jug. I have water in here. Okay. Move my little seed cups right there. These are the hot ones you see right here. I don't know if you can see them. Let me see. Well, it's, I have them here. Okay. And here are the mild ones. This is hot. Oh, let me show you. This is permit. I don't know if this sells in your area. I found that the soils of territorial depends on where you're located. But this is called permit. 
Let me see. Okay. Premium potting mix for indoor and outdoor. It's really good. And then I have this Pro Mix inside this tub. They got rain in it. So I'm going to mix some of this into my. I'll put all of it in because it's already wet. Already wet. Okay. I think I'll put it all in here. And then I'll put some more on. I'll place some more on top. Kimberly always said, don't waste that soil. Soil is money. Nope. Still won't miss uh, waste it. So this is already wet. No. This is wet. I'm just gonna spread it like it's like it's icing on cake. You get the idea, I think. If you have any questions for Mama J, don't hesitate to place them down in the comments. Or if you just want to share your thoughts about how I'm doing things this year. I'm trying to get as much in as I can. Better now to start my seeds. So my little seedlings can pop up and need to get all the time in I can. And then um, to get them started, so I don't want them to, and I'm, maybe I'll be able to take them directly from here. I don't think so. I'm sure I have to pop them up, but we shall see. We'll see. If I have to pop them up, then I will. Potting up just gives your your ground and your temperatures some extra time to get get it right. Peppers like hot weather. We probably won't see consistent hot weather until sometime in late April, early May. But we shall see. I, I'm not in charge of weather. I can't say what it's going to be. So there I have... Um, that's that's in here. So now I'm going to get some dry pro mix for that with wet. Let me put more in here. See? See that looks black, right? This is brown. But when it gets wet, it's going to be brown. It's going to be turned darker. Let me put some more in here. Very, very light and fluffy. See? And so is the seed filler mix. Well, I use them interchangeably, actually. Sometimes I lay. It has per this has perlite and vermiculite in it. And cocoa core. I think it's the word. Makes a friendly Base for your plants to feel free to root up nicely and come up through the soil and say hello to the world. At least I say hello to me. Right, let's see what this is. What is that on? I'm just gonna crush this up. Yes, I have my gloves. Mom J got a glove. Sometimes I just Put them on. Sometimes I don't. I like breaking up the large particles. Oh, it looks like there's four leg gardener walking around in here. That's Melody. Oh, Gary AK, okay, you can see. He's actually running away from the third floor. Mm -hmm. 
one day there will become a time when we can, uh, as citizens, um, have government approval to count the dogs and cats as dependents, because they certainly, certainly cost as much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Look good to you. Uh, now, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more on because when um, I put this water in here, it's just going to sink down a little bit. peppers that I'll have in my garden because uh, I will actually acquire some transplants too from my local garden center and from my uh, and see what Lowe's has sometimes I get some from Lowe's and see what they have if they have something a little different than mine or a little further along I add it I typically do I add transplants as from the um, big box stores, mostly Lowe's, and um, my primary store to get my transplants from is my local garden center, Primex. I hope you have a local garden center near you. Okay, there we go. So, now, I like for my seeds to be welcome. So I always call the welcoming is adding water. Okay? So I'm going to add water. Now, I'm adding the water to the top. But when I'm feeding, you know, adding, giving my plants water in my tray, I feed them from the bottom. Okay? But since I'm wetting the soil... I wet from the top. Okay. This water is hot water because my seedlings like hot because right because they are hot weather, um, warm weather, hot weather plants. They don't like cold. They like oh I don't know where she thinks it's going to be laying in that cold soil. That's what they say. I hope you talk to your plants. I do mine. I dance with them. I sing with them. They don't complain about my voice. Okay. That's about that's about two cups of water I think that I put in here. Let me see. They're coming through. Oh, not much. Just a little tiny wet. Just a little dampness. Okay. So. There we have it. And I'm just evening this out a little bit. I'm going to get that off me. Okay. So, I, um, I have some tags here that I won't be using. And I will just cut off the bottoms of them because I use them to separate to make blocks, soil blocks. Okay. So I'm gonna cut off the papers. Okay. That's all. And because I am starting up in this tray and it's not so deep see i will cut off some of them one i'm going to use they won't all be the same size because i just don't think like that so 
kind of fit in like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to bore you, if I may use that word, with dropping all these seeds in here. But I'm going to give you the idea of how it's done by me here. So what I have in my hand now, take that out. What I have in my hand right now are seeds. Okay. This says yellow lemon. I don't know if you can see it. You might not be able to see it. But it says uh, lemon jalapeno yellow. Yellow lemon jalapeno seeds. Yeah, it's only so much, but you know, I can work with that. So, I think I'm going to put all these in here. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe I won't put all of them in here. But see, I'm creating, I'm dropping these seeds, and I will share my seedlings with my friends and any family members of mine who are growing this year. Uh, and my neighbors who are growing. And I also will keep plants for myself. So, how many I have in my hand? This is hot. So, I will need to, so I keep it straight in my own head. I'll put an a, a H in here on this, on my label to indicate that's called hot. And an M for mild. Okay? So, let's see here. And the more you drop, you increase your chances of germination and um, of having something. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 seeds right here. So I'm going to place them just lightly. Just lightly. Make you push it down a little bit and cover it a little bit of soil. The tiny seeds um, don't need a lot of. Yeah. Just put it in. Push it down. Cover it up. Just a tad. You don't want them to be too very put down in there. I have I have some chopsticks here. That I can push it down with chopsticks. Don't tell Scott, my grandson. He loves eating the chopsticks. And so, I'm just going to cover it up just a little bit. Just simple as that. Okay. And maybe you place them like, maybe like, yeah. Just, just, just not too close. So you have to be careful separating if you need to. Well, you will need to. I don't believe in discarding any seeds, any seedlings. I really don't, unless they just didn't make it. Uh, because to me, that's food. So I just share it. Okay, so that's that. Bing! All right. So here is my garden marker. Oops garden marker. Somebody actually created a garden marker. It says we must be doing something right. So this was called lemon yellow jalapeno. Now to some people jalapeno peppers are hot. Uh, not to me. And okay, I'm dating. I date all of my things. So I think today is the seventh. Let me double check. Okay. Yep. Today is April 7th, 2023. And I'm going to put H in the corner. 
And I told you that means hot. Okay? And I'll just continue that way. I'm going to turn this around so you'll be able to see. Can you see that? Okay. I'll put it. No, I can't put it right here. I'll put it right here. I'm sorry you can't see that. It's just facing me. I'll turn it around so you can see. Okay? Lemon, yellow, jalapeno. All right. So there's one. That's in. Now, those, that little strip I show you, it's going to keep my little squares straight. So one is going to go here. So that's where the new pepper is going to start. Right there. And I thought I had another one. Where'd it go? Here it is. Ooh, oh, here it is. I know I had two. And this one is going to separate here. There. Okay. So I know that's about as far as that pepper. Basics. Okay. All right. I'm going to do one more on camera, and then I'm going to finish this up off camera. Uh, next one. Goodness, really no particular order, but the next one's going to be cayenne long pepper. It's going to be a skinny red pepper. I've grown this before. I uh, can't remember growing my lemon yellow jalapeno before, but um, I have grown the cayenne long pepper before. Okay, so I'm going to have a lot of that, right? So I'm going to make a lot of these plants, too. I still haven't put a dent in this. How many I got in here? Well, I got a lot in my hand. Ooh, I hope I get 100% germination. Whatever I get, I'm thankful for. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 seeds there. That's how tiny they are. Okay. But it's not the smallest seed, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm going to start that one here, just below my little line that I have for, I'm just going to place them, and then what I'll do, I'm trying to keep this straight on the side. I'll make this box as long as I want, but I don't want it to go this way, I want it. Yeah, this way. So I'm just laying them on top of soil, and then after I get them all laid down, I'm going to then use the uh, chopstick to push them, push them in so they get covered. I'm going to take this off too still. Now I could have started these up in, in seed cups, seed cup sales. Uh, I just am trying to do things a little more, especially if I'm doing a lot with a particular uh, seed or You know, I, I just wanted, I know that I can get a lot in here. More than I can get in seed cell cups. I'll thank old Alabama for teaching me that. May he rest in peace. Okay, so I'm going to take my chopstick. And I'm going to push it in. Cover it up. 
push it in, pull it out. Push it in, pull it out. Now be careful you don't leave some of your, you don't be still on the end of your stick. So, I'm going to keep doing this, and I'm not going to hold you up. Uh, thank you for hanging out at Mama Bear's Country Gardening, because I am uh, starting my pepper seeds. Okay. And they will all germinate at different times, you know. Some may germinate in, like, let's see how, how, many, how long this germinates. This says here, well, it doesn't say. Let me see on here. Mm. Okay, well, it's not saying how long before germination, but, you know, peppers can take anywhere between 80, some 60, but let's say 60 at the earliest to um, 120 days to grow to maturity. Now, those days don't start counting until you plant them. This is just starting up. I may see germination in four days. I may see germination in some of them in seven days. I just hope they germinate. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll separate these seedlings and place them in a smaller, you know, smaller container. Or maybe I'll take it to the to the um, one that big, you know, I, I, I'm sure, we, I'm sure I'll have to pot these up at least one time, at least one time, depending on the weather, depending on what the weather's going to do. I need the temperatures to be sitting at 70, 75 degrees, 80 is my, my, my best. But 70, 75 degrees, I would feel comfortable placing it if it's going to be consistent for them to be outside. Um, but I, again, will share them off when, um, when uh, some of them I will share off when they're ready to be planted. Some of them I will share off after I've potted them up. So I just want to say, uh, that's how we're doing things in Mama Jay's Country Gardening. Now, let me make the label for what it's. I'll tell you. I'll forget. So this is Kion Wong Pepper. Okay. All right. So again, I'm going to cut the leg off. Place it. Okay. And remember where I ended it, so I think it was right about here. Separate. Uh, I better use this stick this way. Okay, now I gotta make
Okay. So. So I'm going to do that with all of my seed cups. All my seeds. So far I planted um, lemon jalapeno yellow and cayenne long pepper. And they have an H on them because they're hot. So I'm going to continue this and I'm going to let you see when I finish. Um, I don't know if all of them are going to fit in here, but we shall see. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. So I'm going to tell you all the varieties that I have listed here that I have uh, dropped in my tray. Okay, so here we are. I shared with you initially lemon yellow jalapeno. It's hot. You see my tag show the date. Cayenne long pepper hot. Uh, this one is hot cherry pepper. Taba hot. Tabasco. Hot pepper. Hot. Yellow. Hot. Uh, Carolina Reaper is hot, 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 and hotter. <laughs> um, habanero pepper, early jalapeno, buena mulata, and sweet pepper, and I, and I really actually planted a lot, this whole, um, all of this, all of this, um, yellow bell pepper, mild, Sweet pepper, you know, is mild. Gi uh, giallo pepper. I think that's yellow. It's a yellow pepper, too, I think. But anyway, it's right here. Here I have sweet California wonder. And I took up this whole box, this whole area right in here. Show they all seeds. And the very last one but not least is red bell pepper. Okay. All the way down to here. Stop there. Okay, excuse my hand all in your way. But uh I'm gonna have peppers on top of peppers on top of peppers. So like I said, many of these will be um, shared out. Okay, I'll start them up and I'll share them up. And uh, I will grow each variety in my garden. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different varieties right here. And that will not be all. Okay? Thank you for hanging out at Mama J's Country Gardening. I hope that at least some of these names are familiar to you. And maybe you're growing some of them. Or any one of them. Leave a comment down in... Leave a comment down in the in the uh, box below, and share with me what you have going on relative to peppers in your garden. All right, God bless you.